Hey, I'm Matt Shade Tech. I'm a producer and DJ based in Brooklyn, New York. I'm also the course designer and senior instructor for the Logic program at DubSpot and DubSpot Online. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to create a preverb reverb effect. A preverb is a reverb which starts before the sound that we apply it to and builds up to it. It's really popular with vocals to create a kind of a ghostly vocal effect, uh, but you can also see it used on percussion, um, other melodic sounds. It creates a cool kind of atmospheric uh, effect. So here I have a little example track. If you checked out my drum programming tutorial here on the DubSpot YouTube channel, uh, you'll recognize this example track. This track has some vocals in it by Carla Zeno and I have a couple of different little vocal processing tricks going on here. Um, in this video, we're gonna look at the preverb. There's also some pitch down stuff, which we're gonna see in the next video. Okay, so there's our little example piece. Um, and I'm using the uh, Roland TR-808 kit in the uh, EXS-24 sampler for the drums. This um, kick drum slash bass line up here um, is created using the ES-2. And actually I have another tutorial uh, on the DubSpot YouTube channel where you can check that out if you're interested. Um, the lead sound is a tweaked version of the Marimbel preset from the EFM-1 synthesizer. So the effect that we're going to focus on is this. So that kind of cool rising kind of ghostly voice, uh, that's our preverb effect. So I already created this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Turn, mute that track and let's create this again um, starting from the source. So I'm going to take this single word here, I. this I, and I'm going to open it up. I'm going to open it up by double clicking on it, right, in the sample, and now it's going to open in the sample editor. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to save a, the selection as. So let's call this I reversed. And now when we do that, if you notice, let's just go back to this dialog for a sec. I had the add resulting files to bin dialog checked. You can leave all of this stuff at the original settings. Um, just make sure add resulting files to bin is checked so that we can go over to the bin over here in the media area and just grab this I reversed and I'll just drop it in here on another channel and close that. Now, the reason that we're doing this is because if I just went straight to this and made a change to it in the sample editor, the sample editor does what's called destructive editing. And so what would happen is that this would actually, the original file on the hard drive would be changed. And that would actually mean that all of the eyes in my project would get changed. So when you're working in the sample editor and you're gonna do something like this, it's gonna change it, you wanna make sure that you save a copy first. So I use save selection as just to save the little piece that I needed uh, instead of saving a, a new copy of the whole audio file with all of the words in it. Okay, now that we've got this, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into functions and reverse it. Yeah. There we go. And now let's turn off some of these additional effects that we have, we don't need them. Yeah. Actually, we'll keep the compression and the noise gating. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Now, and maybe we'll keep the pitch correction as well. Yeah. Okay. 
So what we're gonna do now is add a big, huge reverb. So I'm gonna to go to this last slot in the chain, go down to reverb, space designer, and then I'm just gonna load a big reverb preset. So let's go to large spaces, maybe indoor spaces, and let's go palace. Something nice and long, right? 6.6 .6 seconds. And I'm gonna take the reverb level here, the wet level, uh, and just turn it all the way up. So we're gonna get really loud reverb signal. And let's just check that out and see how it sounds. There we go. So that's cool. So what I'm gonna do next is right click on this and choose bounce and merge, bounce in place. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna record this reversed audio with the effect into a new audio file. So we'll call this I reversed verb, bip for bounce in place. Destination will be a new track. We'll mute the source, which will be the original here. Um, we're not gonna bypass the effect plugins because we want the effect to be applied, especially that reverb. We will add the effect tail to file. This is important. The effect tail is gonna be that long reverb that trails off after the sound is over, and we definitely wanna record that. That's actually mainly what we want to bounce in place. Um, I'm not gonna add the effect tail to the region. That's just gonna mean it's gonna come in like this, and we're gonna actually have to drag it out. Let's hit. We're gonna keep normalize off and we will include the volume and pan automation just so that it get, gets bounced at the same level that it was at. Okay. Now, to access the long tail, we just take this and drag it out. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go in here and reverse it. So notice when we open it up, we have just the original piece. So we wanna go edit, select all, and then functions reverse. So what we've done here, right, is we reversed it once to make it backwards. So now if we listen. There we go. So what we've done here is we reversed it once to make it backwards and then put the big reverb on it. So at that stage, we had the reverse of what we finally wanted, right? With the big reverb after the backward sound. And then we just take that and bounce it and reverse it one more time, right? And anytime you reverse something twice, you're gonna be flipping it back to its original um, direction. And so now we've got the vocal playing forward the way we want it to, but the reverb is now backwards, meaning it's coming before the sound. So now we'll just take this and drag it out. And we just wanna line this up with the, sounds about right. Maybe a little more over, let's see. It seems about, about where we want it. Let's see. All right, now I'm just gonna cut this right before the, the word actually comes in and I'm gonna use a little crossfade tool to apply a little fade out so we don't get a click. And let's just give that a quick listen. Okay, not bad, right? We could play with the timing a little bit. And I think, oh, the level too. Let's pull this down some. That's better. Um, you know, we could slip it around if we feel like we want a different, a little bit of a different timing. Sounds a little early. There we go, that sounds pretty good. Bye. 
And you can use this in a lot of ways. Um, you can use it to create kind of reverse symbol-like effects. You can use it to create kind of more complicated ghosting patterns around a whole vocal phrase. We could do this to the whole thing instead of just to one word. Uh, might be interesting. And it kind of generally works well in any kind of like rise or situation like this where you're kind of transitioning between two sections. You can make a cool little transitional sound there that kind of leads into your first, uh, in this case, it's the first first word of the vocal phrase. So if you want to learn more stuff like this, you can check out our six level logic course at DubSpot here in New York City or through DubSpot online. So I hope this was uh, helpful for you in, uh, in your own music making. And if you want to learn more about me and my music, uh, you can check me out at mattshadetech.com. And thanks very much for watching. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.